Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the major manufacturing HIT-146N. This is a drill fixture from Major, and this unit is for the um, the Schlag CO series locks, is what it's for. Uh, this is heavy. The entire box weighs about 10 point over 10 pounds, maybe 10.9 pounds, something in that range. So almost 11 pounds. And, uh, you know, it, it's quite a bit, considering the fact that it's made mostly of aluminum. Uh, it, is, it is quite heavy. So what this kit is going to allow you to do in a very forthright fashion, which is everything from major, um, it's going to allow you to prep a door for the function holes and the wire run and a door position switch for a Schlage CO series, the 100 or the 200. And the, and the only thing it, it won't prep will be the 2 and an eighth hole. You actually need the 2 and an eighth inch hole uh, already there in order to prep for this material, uh, for the function holes, the wire run, the door position switch if you have one. So what you have here is, of course, the template guide itself that gets clamped onto the door. There's a socket head screw here. And I'll just back that out, and I'll show you the you know, plate separated. Okay, so here's the one side. Then, of course, the plate on the opposite side. That's the back side of it. And the reason for taking that off is to show you that's what's going to fit inside of your 2 and an eighth inch hole. Okay. One real nice one one thing uh, that's very nice about Major is that um, once you start using their tools and um, understanding what the logic is, uh, you will you will come to understand that when things have a different color, it's for a reason, and uh, that does make it easier to identify items in the installation instructions and know what to do with them and when. And I think at a subconscious level, it also, um, you know, starts to reinforce the, so, you know, reinforce the, oh, I need that red part. I'm doing the, you know, I'm doing a wood door. I need the red part kind of concept. So this will include a couple of adapter plates that you'll need for doing a certain prep, which we'll go over. And there's one for each side of the door. Uh, you will have this drill bushing which will be for a metal door when you're if you're doing a door position switch. We'll talk about that in a moment. You're going to have the couple of Allen wrenches necessary for ad uh, adjusting everything, removing, reinstalling. And you'll have the screws that will be needed for those red plates that are there. Um, now, some basic dimensional properties of the item. Yeah, 10.9 pounds. I wrote it 10.94 pounds, <laughs> so it's pretty heavy. Uh, okay, so the overall height of the kit, just to give you some basic dimensional properties, about 10 and a half inch. Overall depth, about five and a half inch. This is going to accommodate, they say, doors from inch uh, up to two inch thick. Uh, easily, it will easily do that. Just when I have the plates set flush, yeah, it's two inch. When I have both of those plates flush with the outside housing, that's two inch set right there. So <clears throat> you've got the ability to prep for these function holes, this function hole. Same on the other side, the door position switch, the uh, access hole that you'll need, this di diagonal hole, and then of course on that adapter plate, uh, when you need to drill that opposite hole there as well, which I'll show you in the installation instructions. Major goes through all of that where it all belongs. Now, what I like to do when I review a template like this, where it's not just two and an eighth hole and you're done, is to look at the template from the manufacturer as well so I can kind of understand, okay, what are we drilling where and why and when? Uh, because this lock's got, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven potential holes. Um, yeah, you know, that you could encounter. I don't think you'll ever... You might use all of them. I have to look. So let's switch to the screen view. Let's take a closer look at the extended description. 
then the installation instructions alongside with the Schlage CO templates. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Okay, here is the item that we are looking at in the site. Let's first start with looking at some images that we have. That's everything in the box right there that we're going over. The template itself. One face view, the edge view. That's the adapter block that will allow you to do the door position switch, the diagonal hole, and where the drill bushing would go into, should you need to use that. The opposite side of the tool. This size has the socket screw. The back side showing you the throat of the tool. And then your accessory parts, installation instructions, uh, etc. Okay, so let's look at the extended description. Drill guide for Schlage CO series cylindrical locks. They also make the CO locks in mortise versions. We're not doing any of those in this video. This unit, through bolts to the door, using the existing 2 and 8 inch crossbore for alignment. Uh, all required mounting and function holes, including the DPS switch and the edge of the door, are located with hardened drill bushings. There are drill bushings on both sides of template to allow drilling from either side of the door. The drill guide will template both wood and steel doors. Standard drill guide will accommodate up to two inch thick, and uh, you know definitely at a three quarter, uh, two and three quarter back set. I don't know if the CO series comes in other back sets. I would actually think that they likely do. I don't know that. I'd have to look in the catalog. Um, I would imagine that they do. So be mindful. This is two and three quarter only. DPS uh, drill guide will center on an inch and three quarter thick door. Um, yeah, so, you know, if you are, if you're doing a door that's other than inch and, inch and three quarter thick, um, the, what they're saying here is this fixture block is not in the center of this plate and you're not drawing both plates in together. The outside plate is fixed via these screws. So therefore, if you did have an unusual uh, door thickness, you wouldn't really be able to center your door position switch where it needs to be. Um, you know, is that going to be a problem? I don't think it will be. Uh, but we'll look at the template and we'll determine that in a moment. Okay. Sold as each. When you buy one, we'll ship you one. Now, there's a product brochure here. Let's take a look. Now, I think this is a, a an older document. They actually don't have the N version of the 146. Um, and we're going to just assume that 146 stands for, uh, 146N stands for new, where they've got the door position switch stuff added to the edge. So this document is handy because it's an overview of clamp on, screw, bolt on, lock templates for different series of locks. Okay, Sergeant, best, um, you know, Unican, the 6000 series combination, mechanical combination, Kava Ilko 1000 uh, alarm lock, etc. You get the concept. Marks, simplex locks, uh, push pole latches, those are nice to have. You're doing a lot of push pole latches. There's not a lot of holes to drill there, but they're, <laughs> they're there's only four holes, but they're tedious. Um, you know, etc. So we get down to the 145 for the Schlage AD series locks, the CO series locks, etc. Now let's get over to the installation instructions and the template. And we click on the installation instructions. Spread that over here. Here's our page for the, the templates. And let's go through the installation instructions. We'll leave the templates right here on the side. Uh, what you'll notice about major installation instructions is that he uses a very large font. Thank you very much. Um, and uses lots of paper uh, when he creates the installation instructions. And the reason for that is in my, in my opinion, they're giving it to you a very large, readable size um, and not giving you a million micro steps per page. 
breaks it out, makes it more digestible, one step at a time. So, you know, for some of us, that's that's nice. So page one is the uh, cover of what you're getting, uh, declaration, be smart, ear protection, eyes protection, um, lung protection, ear, eye, and, and uh, lungs. Always, always wear a mask. Um, drill bit types, these are going to be a summary of what you'll end up needing uh, in this type of installation. They're saying don't use these self-feeding cutters. Don't use butterfly, spade, or paddle bits, they call them. These brad point bits are really nice because they cut cleanly. That'd be appropriate for a wood door only, not a steel door. Um, hole saws, obviously, for a steel door primarily. Use them for a wood door, too, though. So the 146N is meant to go in a standard 2 and an eighth inch prep, or to fit onto it. And that's what you're starting with. This is showing you what you've got, showing you that these alignment wa washers will sit inside of your 2 and an eighth inch hole, simple and straightforward. Install it down onto your unit, onto your door. Install both templates to the door, fasten in place with the supplied socket cap screw. Snug the two plates together with the Allen wrench. Snug them, don't over tighten them. You don't want to leave a mark on your door that you're not going to see at all when you're done machining it. But those marks will come up after they've stained and clear coated the material. So don't over, don't over tighten it just so that it's snug. That is really crucial. I've, I've, I've been in that position before where these mystery marks showed up later and then you realize, ah, someone put a template on the door and over tightened it. Uh, so crucial line there. So now is where we get into, let's start drilling the door. Install the two blue templates, which are already on our unit, with the supplied screws. They're already attached. These templates are used to drill the two 7 16 through bolts. That center hole is for steel doors only. So let's take a look at our templates on the right side. There's your 7 16 there's your 7 16 They say the 5 8 is for a steel door only. So when we scroll down, here's what we have. We have in our, our, install, our templates, we have the CL100 for a wood door. Page 2 is the CL100 for a metal door. Page 3 is a CO200 for a wood door. Page 4 is a CO200 for a steel door. Okay, So drill the 5 8 hole for the steel door only, and there it does show up right there, steel door only. Whereas for a wood door, it does not show up. Uh, so if you have a steel door, while you've got the template on there, go ahead and complete that hole. But be mindful, inside only. Five-eighths hole, inside only, they're saying. Wood door does not use that hole. Uh, start by drilling your 7 16 hole in both sides, so you'll drill four times, drill halfway through. The 5 8 hole required for the wire run and inside stud. So again, steel doors only, inside only. Sorry, backing up. Yeah, steel door installations only, it's for the wire one. Okay, now, sorry, I jumped too quickly. Now, the 5 8 hole required for the wire run and inside stud. Now, this hole, when we look at the templates, they show it for wood doors here, that offset 5 8 hole, and for the steel door outside only. Okay? So you'll need. For a steel door, you'll need that 5 8 hole in the blue template, and then you'll need it for the red template on the outside. This is the 5 8 hole required for the wire run and inside stud. Be sure to mount this so it is correct for the hand of the door. It can be installed on the uh, fixture either right or left hand. What they're saying here is that always to the left of the center line when viewed from the exterior. 
So clearly what they're saying there is that, as you can see, that wire run on the inside, it's not centered in the lock. So if they change from a left hand to a right hand or a left hand reverse, right hand reverse, that positioning doesn't change, just the lever orientation changes. So this will always be to the left of the center line when viewed from the exterior. So clearly we're looking at the interior of a left hand or left hand reverse door. Okay. That's going to be a 5 8 hole. Use a standard twist drill or brad point for wood doors. A 5 8 standard twist drill may be used for wood or a steel door. Just a regular jobber's you know, length drill bit. Uh, a brad point is used for a, um, for a wood door only. Now they're showing here using a hole saw. And I don't see any trouble with that. They'll tell us when not to use a hole saw. Drill halfway through from both sides. When drilling, pull the drill out several times to remove the chips. Now, if we're installing a door position switch, we're going to ignore this. Skip down right to here. If installing the door position switch, which is your CO200, and right over here it shows you pretty clearly what that needs to look like. Use a standard half inch diameter twist drill on a wood or steel door. A brad point may be used on a wood door only. Okay, And that's going to be this hole right here as they're showing drilling it here. A steel door can be drilled on the inside only. A uh, wood door can be drilled through halfway on each side. So here's the wood door. So they're telling us for the CO200 and the wood door, inside only for the DPS. The steel door, they're telling us again, inside only. Yeah, they're telling us to drill through for a wood door. Um, you know, the I think the reason that they're telling you to do that is because your lock will cover that hole, but the diagonal hole needs to be drilled down through the template to mate to that hole, whereas in a hollow metal door, you won't really have an obstruction. They're not showing us that diagonal hole here. That's why you would only drill it on one side. I think the thing is, on the wood door, you need to drill this hole deep enough, and they're telling you, inch and a quarter deep, so that it gets... You know, not through the door, but you know, the you know, two thirds of the way through the door. More than two thirds. So moving forward, on a wood door, now we're gonna drill the edge of the door for the for the door position switch itself. On a wood door, use a three quarter inch brad point bit uh, right into this hole as seen here. If you're doing a steel door, they want you to install that guide that I had showed you earlier, use a 5 16 hole and then a step drill to increase that size. Because clearly they're getting um, trouble with... You can insert a twist drill into this fixture, but insert, inserting a hole saw into here is clearly a, a problem for the template and for the final installation. So they want you to proceed with a 5 16 and then a step drill. Step drills are okay. They're, I've used them. I don't love using them, but they are, in certain instances, pretty convenient. Um, they're lousy when they're dull, though. Then you're going to need an extra long 3 8 hole, uh, a bit, I should say. And actually, in the block here, it does actually, it's prepped on this diagonal, so it meets right here, as illustrated here. Obviously, pull the chips out as you're drilling the hole. Um... And that's it. That's all there is to it, literally. So pretty simple and straightforward. Um, what I like to do when I'm doing these is I will have the template, and I will mark on the template what I'm doing, and I will X off what I'm not doing. And I will then double check that, and then when it comes time to put the template on, it's just really quick work, because I'm literally referring to the paper template. Okay? And there you go. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. All right, let's do this. 
Okay, now on the manufacturer's page here, there's a link to the manufacturer's landing page on our site where you can view not only all of the major products that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation, but also a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the full product catalog. I would encourage you to review the full product catalog because it will be chock full of tools that you might say to yourself, yeah, I can use that tool. I would, I would like to use that. That will make my life easier. Uh, when it comes to these um, lock installation tools. Okay. However, in the catalog, you're going to find a lot of locksmithing accessories, parts and pieces, security hardware that the locksmith industry will use. Uh, one thing that I use personally, I think I just passed it, is this. They have a system that you can extend the length of mortise cylinders. They have a drill fixture. They have these add-on machined brass extensions, and then they have these drive units here that you will put onto the back of your mortise cylinder after you've drilled the holes here to make it look like this. I've done, you know, almost overnight, you know, odd length cylinders. I had a client who needed Schlage F keyway two and a half inch. Now, I need them tomorrow. Okay, well, we can get Schlage F keyway, um, you know, by, you know, by, by, a, by a generic manufacturer and then add the extension, or it was FG, I forget the keyway, it was, it was something unusual, or, or less common, I should say, okay? Then lots of other accessories are in here as well. So I would definitely suggest, I would certainly suggest that you review their catalog, because they've got it pretty well figured out, there's no doubt about that. Let's wrap up this video on camera. Okay, another you know thing to know about Major is their um, their material is backed by very good technical support. I've called over to the factory a couple of times and I wasn't sure exactly what we were doing with this piece here. Why is it being used or how is this being used? And the people over there really not only understand um, their their command over manufacturing machinery, the ability to leverage technology to create this item, uh, these types of products, but they also understand the hardware to the point where they can elegantly convey what needs to be done. They've clearly done the work. They've prepped doors for locks, so they know, you know, you don't learn what bits to use unless you're doing it yourself. So these, these folks over at Major are pretty, uh, pretty versatile when it comes to supporting this information. If you have any questions on the Major, this is their part number HIT146N for drilling Schlage CO series locks or any other Major manufacturing product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up, please subscribe, and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.